Hello everyone! 안녕하세요! And welcome to my second Korean class Second Korean class in YouTube And thankfully Last week you guys watched my lesson And who watched my lesson I really be appreciated by that And who is watching this lesson I will be double appreciated by that and I couldn't wear my white shirt no, I mean shirt because I'm going to school today and that's part of my school uniform actually that's we have to wear shirt in the school it's like a school uniform in Glee Darton Academy maybe you guys know it but yeah that really irritates us and today, we are going to learn about greetings. And <laughs> I'm really not good at drawing the stars. It's like the Patrick has his number in, on his back. Okay. And first, how to say hello in Korea. I mean, I don't, I really, I really don't teach you guys how to say only hello in Korea I will teach you guys how to say more things than hello second how to greet others how to greet others like you guys greet others welcome or welcome to my house nice to meet you and that's all the greetings so I'm going to teach you about greeting this lesson Mm, three words and sorry because I don't have a project beam so I have to write in my own and uh, now the first I'm gonna teach you how to say hello in Korean actually we have two two words about hello we have hi and hello like you guys hi to the friend hello to the seniors or a man who you first met so now I'm gonna teach you about hello first hello is 안녕하세요 in Korean please repeat after me 안녕하세요 okay that's that's really cool that was really cool okay 안녕하세요 oh yeah you are really cool dude Maybe you can be a woman, but that was cool. And, uh, 하세요 is quite long, or the uh, long if you compare to the hello. Like you, if I say hello, but we say 안녕하세요, and we only only say this word to the senior or to the person that you first met like those of people okay then oh well, before this I have to teach about friendly word hi you know hi you say this word to your friend like hi Jake or hi Maria hi Lisa hi Elisa and hi is only Annyeong in Korean. Annyeong. Now you can say like Annyeong to your friend to surprise them. Like if your friend comes to you and you can say Annyeong. <laughs> and that will be really cool. Okay. So please repeat after me. Annyeong. Yep. Annyeong. Okay. So you mastered how to say hello in Korean and that was really great. Yeah, you already mastered it. Like I, I can't say hello in Arabic. <laughs> and next one. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you is 만나서 
반갑습니다 in Korean. 만나서 반갑습니다 in Korean. And that's quite long, but no like nice to meet you. 만나서 반갑습니다. It's almost same length. Um, in Russian, if you want to say nice to meet you, you can say Fasna Komisha. That's almost these sentences length, so maybe you can memorize it. Okay, please repeat after me. 만나서 반갑습니다. Okay, again. 만나서 반갑습니다. Yeah, you are really good. Uh, I think you, you guys can read this if you watched my previous lesson or you learned how to write and read Korean. Okay, okay. 만나서 반갑습니다. Okay, you're really good. And actually, this. 만나서 means meet. 만나, 만나서 is meet, 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 meet somebody, meet. Actually, Manada is the right verb to say meet, but just memorize it is really complicated. So maybe next time or after I will tell you how it becomes like this. So Manaso means meet, Pangapsumida. Nice too. Nice to meet. And maybe you wonder, where's you? Where's you in here? We don't, we really don't say you in greetings. Okay. 만나서 반갑습니다. Meet, nice to, nice to meet you. Okay. And that was the greeting. So let's repeat again from the top. 안녕하세요. Okay, next one. 만나서 반갑습니다. Okay, you're really good. And next one. 안녕. Okay, 안녕. Okay, and that was the three. Hello in Korean. Oh, now I'm gonna teach you about the number two. How to greet others? How to greet others? If, if your friend or your teacher, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your mother, father, parents, your grandmother, grandfather comes to your house, you say, Welcome. Welcome to my house, people. Welcome to my house, it's my house coming in. And we say, Welcome. 어서 오세요. 어서 오세요. And it's like, when you visit the market in Korea, the big supermarket like Otemart, Emart, Walmart, Korean, uh, Korean is standing by the door, and if you come on in, if uh, he or she greets us, greet you like, "Oso <laughs> seyo," really uh, funny because you know you guys don't do that. Aren't you guys? But our Korea is really, really good at the service marketing. So if you go into the big market, the she or he stand by the door with a suit, and they says also to you, to you. And if you come, if you visit Korea, you have to visit a big market. Okay, so also say you. Also say you. Repeat after me, please. Also say you. Also say you. Okay.
Okay, and actually, uh, in front of the door, we have a carpet like this, carpet. Carpet like this, and there's also yo in the carpet, in the floor, on the floor. So, uh, someone steps by that with the mud, so it turns like also say yo. <laughs> and I think I think the a, a guys spend standing by the door and say also say oh is better than this. <laughs> the next one. How are you? How are you? It's a really common phrase that you guys speak in your country. How are you means how are you is. 기분이 어떠신가요? Yeah, that, that's a hard one. 기분이 어떠신가요? How are you is 기분이 어떠신가요? And repeat after me. 기분이 어떠신가요? 기분이 어떠신가요? Actually, I'm, I'm running Lurchian, so I know you guys how hard you guys are and it really confuses so I recommend you to listen to the K-pop or watch Korean drama, Korean movies and that will really really help you guys to study in study Korean. Okay? I, I know that a lot of you guys ha no wants to know how to speak Korean because of the K-pop. And I saw that I have to teach you guys or translate the song about the biggest hit in Korea, Gangnam Style. Yeah, that would be really fun. I will translate. I will do translation lesson as soon as possible. And that would be really cool. Nowadays, Harlem Shake is on the top. I heard about that song, it's like uh, dancing and hold them shake and then all of the place becomes like mess. <laughs> I really want to do that but you know it's really hard because I have to have many people to do that. I can't do that with my family. Okay, how are you? Repeat after me again. 기분이 어떠신가요? Okay, 기분이 어떠신가요? And 어떠신가요 means how. How. 기분 means feeling. Feeling. How you're feeling? How are you feeling? Okay, actually, 어떠신가요's right word is. Oh, ta. But Korean really changes frequently. Korean really changes frequently, like Russian. <laughs> Russian change. Russian's word changes frequently according to the. Uh, according to the thing that you. That's your point, like, if you want to say, She reads a book, Ona chita yut kunigi, kunigu. And if you want to say, He is reading a book, you have to say, On chita et kunigu. That's really hard. Okay, and um, repeat after me, please. Kibuni. 어떠신가요? Okay. And next one, I feel. Actually, this I'm the answer of this question. I feel. And you can say I feel good. I feel bad. And we say 저는 기분이 니다. 저는 기분이 니다. Repeat after me. 저는 
キーボーに<笑>ニーラ OK and let's put good in here good is ショータ in Korea and it changes again OK changes again It is, 기분, 저는 기분이 어, no. 아, 조, 조, 습니다. 저는 기분이 좋습니다. Okay. It's really hard. Actually, this word I, I missed and it's We have to write like j i t o h e r c h o And it looks like I have two vowels in here, but I'm sorry about that. 저는 기분이 좋습니다. How about bad? How about bad feeling? I feel bad. I I kicked by a girl that I love to. <laughs> I, I, I really kicked by a girl that I love to, but I feel bad. I lost my kitten. I lost my computer. I lost my. I lost my hair. Okay, bad. Not good. In Korean. I feel bad. I feel bad. 저는 기분이 like this. This is really easy. Okay, like this. It was 기분이 좋습니다. It was 기분이 It was 저는 기분이 좋습니다. Now this will be 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. Okay? Please repeat after me. 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. Okay. 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. I feel bad. 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. Repeat after me. 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. Okay. We we really say with a section in it. Like 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. Okay. Let's Do, let's say this sentence in one phrase. 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. Okay. 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. Okay. And let's do it from the top. 어서 오세요. Okay. 어서 오세요. Okay, that was really good. And next one, 기분이 어떠신가요? 기분이 어떠신가요? 저는 기분이 나쁩니다. And let's go with this one. Sorry. Wait. 저는 기분이 좋습니다. 저는 기분이 좋습니다. Okay, that was super cool. And if you want to say I'm fantastic, I feel fantastic. You can say. 저는 기분이 fantastic 합니다. Yeah, we use English a lot. Like we use bus, we use taxi, we use um, rocket, badminton, tennis. Yeah, we use a lot of English. Okay, today's words. Today's words is there's only five words, but I have more words. In the description below, I will 
put the link so you can study it, learn it, okay? Thank you. 감사합니다. Repeat after me. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. And we have a regional, re regional words like 감사합니다 it will be 감사하다께 or 감사하고 마이 <laughs> you know, regional words Next one Nice Nice 좋다 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 And nowadays a lot of people uh, like students say this word 좋다 좋다 And uh, really Really, really young young people use this word, use that word, 좋다. And actually, we use 좋다. 좋다. 좋다 is the right word in Korean. Okay, next one. Good. Good. It is 좋다 too. Actually, you guys say, oh, nice shot, or you guys don't say good shot, you say nice shot. And we use same, same word. It is same word. Nice and good is same word for us. Okay. Next one. Apple. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Please leave it after me. 좋다. Okay. 좋다. The next one. Oh, oh, repeat after me, 좋다. Okay, next one, apple, and it is 사과. And you guys will say, why the hell did you put the apple in here? It, it is not related to any of the word in here. Oh, you know what? I actually learned apple. The apple is the first word that I ever learned in English. I learned apple when I was in kindergarten, seven years old, and actually six years old in America, but seven years old, I learned Apple for the first time. Okay, I finished Korean when I was six, and I started studying English when I was seven, and that was really hard, but I can speak like this. I'm not perfect in English, but okay, I can communicate with you guys, and I'll really be appreciated by that. Okay, apple, 사과. Please repeat after me. 사과. 사과. Okay, English. I told you guys how to say Korean in Korean. It is 한글 in Korean. And English? Oh, English is 영어 in Korean. Okay, English? 영어. And almost of the all, uh, almost of the word that that uh, indicate the language, they finish with all like branches, puro <laughs> or Italian, Italia o, or Chinese, Jungu o, Bulgarian, Bulgaria o. Like we have all in the back. So repeat after me. Yomo. From the top. 감사합니다. 좋다. 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 사과. 영어. Okay, and uh, it's all. It's Finished. Today's lesson is finished and finished. And please comment in my please comment and please subscribe me if you want to learn more Korean lessons. It doesn't cost, so just please subscribe me. And I will upload eight eight weeks more. One week per one week per one video uh, every video on Monday so in 8th week all 
of the lessons will be finished. Eight weeks more, all of the lessons will be finished. So please subscribe and when I, me and I upload the video, please watch it and study it. And I will upload quiz, review, and words in the description. So please look at it too. It is really good for you guys. And thanks for watch my lesson. And I'll be right to you guys next Monday. Okay. Thank you guys and have a good day. Goodbye.